Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux on a virtual box. This way you can test out the operating system before you do a full install. So let's begin. For this, you need to download Ubuntu. The link is in the description box below. You can download the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version. Just make sure you download the ISO file. I have already downloaded mine to my desktop here. And you're also going to need Oracle VirtualBox. The link is in the description box below. Download and install. Once you have both, then double click to run Oracle VirtualBox. And then click on New. I'm going to make this installation very simple. Now in the wizard click on Next by leaving everything as default as possible. In the name, you can name it Ubuntu and it will automatically detect the operating system and the version. If you name it something else, then you have to click on the drop-down box to look for the operating system and the version, and then click Next. Here in the memory, I'm going to leave it default, 512 megs, and click Next. In the visual disk, the same, I'm going to leave it default to create a new hard disk, unless you have one already created, and then click Next. Now here, I'm going to select VirtualBox Disk Image, default, like I said, and then click Next. The storage details, I'm going to select Dynamic, which is the best, and then click Next. And here you can also click Next, but I have already created a place for this, so I'm going to browse by clicking on the folder image, and then look for uh, Drive E here. I created a folder to install Ubuntu. But like I said, you can leave it default and then click Next. Or you can create a folder like me and then look for it and place the uh, installation there. I'm going to leave the uh, virtual disk to be 8 gigs and then click on Next, Default. And then the summary, click Create. And then Create again. Perfect. Now we have Ubuntu here. Now all we need is to make sure it's selected and then click on start. Click next to the wizard. In the installation media window, we're going to look for the Ubuntu ISO we downloaded from the very beginning, remember? Now click on the little folder icon here and browse for the location of the uh, Ubuntu ISO. Mine it's in the desktop. So I'm going to select it and then click on open. Now click on next. Click on start now in the summary. Now this window comes up because I'm using it for the first time so I'm gonna select not to show again and then click OK. This is normal by the way. and the installation of Ubuntu will begin. In the welcome, select your language here and then click on install Ubuntu. Here, this is optional you can download updates while installing or install this third-party software. I'm just going to check mark download uh, updates while installing and then click on continue. But you don't have to do this. You can just click on continue. I'm going to select to erase the disk. Remember this is a virtual disk that we created. And here on the top it is specified VBox hard disk. Click on install now. Then select the uh, locate your time zone, and then click on continue. Select the uh, keyboard layout, and the same. Click on continue. Here, type your username and password, and if you want to log in automatically, just select to log in automatically. And then click continue.
Once it finished the installation, click on Restart Now. When you click on Restart Now, we need to do some changes in the virtual box. Just click on Close here and then select Power Off the Machine and click OK. This changes is for every time you start so it won't try to reinstall the Ubuntu. Now select Ubuntu and then click on Settings. And here select Storage. And then select the IDE controller and then click on the minus sign here to remove the IDE controller and then click OK. Now this from now on it won't try to boot from the uh, ISO that we downloaded. Now click on start and your operating system is up and running. This way you can test out the uh, Ubuntu installation and in the future if you want you can install it on your system. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below or email me. Thank you.